yes, there I am, father of a Sweetbriar student. And there you see me loading up the car to take Mary Lou back to college. It's a familiar task, and every Sweetbriar father will agree that it's a job we long remember. There are also memories of the trip into the Blue Ridge region of Virginia, the Old Dominion, the state that has played such an important role in our nation's history. Well, we made it, all safe and sound. Again, we're back at Sweetbriar College. From the moment a person first drives into the campus, he realizes that this is certainly one of the most beautiful centers of collegiate life and serious learning anywhere in America. As we look down on Sweetbriar from Monument Hill, we can see acres and acres of Virginia farmland and scenic hillside, all part of the original bequest, whereby the Reverend and Mrs. James Henry Williams provided funds and the lands and buildings of Sweetbriar Plantation to establish a college in memory of their daughter, Daisy Williams. And as a result, the college was opened almost 50 years ago. It is a place of quiet charm, rich in the basic, simple ways of life that make America strong. But it is not a retreat, nor is it an ivory tower sort of place nor is it a country club. It's in step with the times. Young women from all America and from several foreign countries come here to be trained as citizens, wives, homemakers, professional women, modern women, able to think straight, to make wise decisions, to play their roles in a world that needs people trained to solve problems, and often to solve them with a woman's touch. In the sciences, our Sweetbriar students have the benefit of the careful guidance and personal help of their professors. Students are here testing the way certain chemicals conduct electricity. In science and in all fields of instruction, high academic standards are maintained. To guarantee these standards, Sweetbriar College must soon build a new, adequate, properly designed science building to replace present laboratories and science classrooms that have served well, but which now are not adapted to or adequate for Sweetbriar's modern program of science education for women. Sweetbriar students keep in touch with industrial trends and come to understand the day-by-day -day affairs of the world of work and business. An economics class field trip group meets with a prominent industrial executive and hears him discuss the problems of modern business, industrial relations, and other matters of importance to our nation's economy. A safety engineer explains the precautions taken by a large foundry to emphasize safety. And the students try on various items of safety equipment. Plant safety procedures are seen as an example of American initiative and progress in the field of industrial production. Before long, however, it's spring at Sweetbriar and May Day always colorful, gay, and appropriate amid blossoms and romantic pageantry. Each year a bit different, and yet always somewhat the same, an occasion symbolizing the beauty of both the landscape and the ideals that are part of this place. And before you know it, it's commencement time. What examples of Sweetbriar's spirit, the spirit of 56, are evident on all sides when parents gather for the big event. And seniors in their sophomore hooders practice the tricky business of being hooded so there'll be no slip up or hair must in the ceremony after the diplomas are awarded. The faculty think too of the thousands of American families, living proof that to educate a woman is to educate a family Homes that are one of our nation's greatest strengths, where the wife and mother is a Sweetbriar graduate. Yes, the alumni are likely to be in the thoughts of the faculty members. These graduates give sense and purpose to the spirit of 56. I'd like you now to meet in person one of those overseers, an attorney and chairman of the executive committee of Capital Airlines Mr. Charles H. Murkison of Washington, D.C. 
You have just seen a documentary of some of the things that make all of us members of the Sweetbriar family believe in this fine institution. As the father of two daughters, both Sweetbriar graduates, I know the alumni and I know Sweetbriar. We can therefore have faith, real faith, in the spirit of 56.